Hey Clemson fans, welcome to episode one of Crash Course. Uh, from last week my, in my introductory video, as you can see, my surprise teammate that will be joining me as a, uh, another host of the, of the show is Barrett Carter, AKA Agent Zero, AKA whatever other <laughs> nicknames you guys may have for him. But uh, I'm here with Barrett Carter and we're just gonna get started, started off, you know, answering some questions that you guys send with us. Every single week, you guys can send us questions. We'll answer a, few, a couple of them. But this first one is actually for Barrett Carter. And it is, which linebacker position do you think best fits your game? You played very well fulfill, fulfilling and for Trent Simpson. So if you've shown great versatility. Oof. I really, I just, I just want to help the team in any way that I can. So um, if that's playing Sam linebacker, let's do it. If that's playing Will, Let's do it, but you know, I'm just, I just put me in positions where I can help the team's success. Um, I'm not one who's gonna wanna single myself out and just say like, I wanna play this position, I wanna play that position, like no. I just, I want us to win the game. So wherever that has me, if that has me on the bench for the whole game, then I, I'm gonna trust my coach's decision. But I just, I wanna do whatever helps the team's success. So obviously with Trent going down, I had to step up and play Will. And unfortunately I had, I had a pretty good game, but you know, I just I just want to help the team any way that I can. So that's just my mindset with it. Shoot. Now from me looking out outside in, I'm an inside backer, but I know those the same position just from, you know, knowing the responsibilities and everything are a lot different from inside backer. Would would you say like you like inside backer better or outside mm -hmm. backer? You know, they both have their, their pros and cons. I mean it's a lot it's two different positions. Like at one position, you're covering almost every play. The other position, you're you're hitting alignment every play. So, you know, I think I'm built for both of them. But I think, you know, I'm just moving forward. I don't know where where what the future lies ahead. But shoot, just 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 put me in the game. <laughs> I'm gonna make a play. So just wherever that may be, just put me in the game. But I definitely felt comfortable making the switch to Will though. Yeah, because I know inside back, we're hitting a bunch of linemen. Body be sore. Every play. After every single game, my body be sore, feeling all those hits in game. Every single one. But you know, it's, it, I can, I, I definitely know like there's a, a big difference from inside backer and outside backer. Uh, second question is, what newcomer has stood out to you so far? I, I could, I'll take this one first. Yeah. But uh, we had a lot of a lot of talented freshmen that come in. But I'll go from some of the guys that we recruited and came in from the linebacker position. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, you know, excited to see both both D. And uh, Jamal Anderson, you know, see what they can do. But Jamal is somebody I can already see uh, has physical similarities to Wade Woodes, uh, a big, a big guy that stood out towards the end of the year and really made a name for himself, especially in the Tennessee game. And I feel like Jamal, you know, they both have those same type characteristics as far as like tall guys, lanky guys, fast, athletic. And I feel, I'm excited to see, you know, what what kind of stuff he can do, and they see those similarities in both of their games. Yeah, for me, like, same thing with Try. You know, they've all come in, put in a lot of work, and, you know, they've all shined in their own, in their own way. Um, I can truly say all great things about each and every single one of them, but for me, I got to go with Shelton Lewis at corner. Just I saw him in Orlando just competing with, you know, our receivers, and, like, they were still, like, in their acclim acclimation phase, and, like, they were just competing with those guys and just battling with them. Like, it was their first and second college practices so just you know I can tell that Shelton has that dog in him you know he's definitely gonna be a be a star for us in the future yeah I'm really excited for the recruiting class I know our coaches they do a great job at recruiting guys bringing in guys that are committed to football committed to like that, that grind that it takes to be a Clemson football player so I'm really excited to see what those young guys do the next question is what is your favorite non-football memory from your time at Clemson you got it, bro. All right, I go first. <laughs> Mine that comes to mind is probably freshman year. We uh, every single year we we go on like a team outing to uh, the lake, uh, and it's about it's about an hour away, close to an hour away. They have like a bunch of activities, a bunch of food, uh, jet skiing, golfing, swimming if you want, or just sleeping by the pool if you know after a long day. But uh, that was my actually my first time jet, ever jet skiing. And that was like a really good time. I had a good, great time with the guys, just being out, out there on the boats on the lake. And you know, that was a, just a really good time to 
uh, you know, have a, you know, spend time with your teammates, just build those friendships and the relationships and just, you know, take your mind off of football. So I say I, that's something that I actually look forward to every single year during, a, during like, as a break from camp. You got one, you know? Sure, for me, like, any, really any time outside of, you know, the facility, outside of the football field, it's just a great time. Cause like, once you step foot in the facility, like everybody knows like it's business, like it's time to go to work, it's time to be locked in about football, but just, you know, any time you get to spend with the guys outside of the, outside of football, it's always a good time. So whether that's just going to get some food, uh, playing basketball, getting some shots up, or just, going to watch a movie or something, or just going golfing, like just all that stuff. It just adds up. It just builds that camaraderie that you need within a team. And you just gotta, you gotta step away from football sometimes. So I couldn't say anything specific, but just, you know, things like that, it all adds up and just, it's, it's really good for the team. Yeah, we, we got, have a lot of fun, you know, on the football team just, and you know, Coach Sweeney and just all the other coaches, they try to give us our time off to take our mind off football. It's not just work hard all the time or just grinding all the time, cause I mean, Sometimes you do need a break uh, as a student athlete, but um, just moving on from that, I uh, appreciate the question that you guys sent, but I, fig I figured like, you know, we talk a little bit about what's going on right now currently. Uh, we're right currently in the off season in our spring uh, training se session, our, our work, work phase that uh, coaches like to call it. And we've just been working out, you know, getting lifts in every single day. Usually, um, I like to work out in the morning. I like to, I'm a 6 a.m. guy. I like to get it, you know, get my workers done early and out of the way. But we've been, you know, lifting weights, just grinding on that field, grinding the weight room and then in the classroom as well. Just going to class every day. And then after that, you know, try to watch, them, watch a little bit of film and just uh, make sure that we don't forget and just stay up to, up to date on the football side, the mental side of football as well. But that's really, that's really how our spring goes. And soon and I think what is it like two weeks two three weeks for mad drills yeah. yeah we got mad drills coming up I hinted that hinted to that last week or the last video that I did just uh those are going to be pretty tough especially for the freshmen I feel like that's something that uh every single year everybody is just almost bending money on like the freshmen mm -hmm. that might throw up trying to get through it but yeah. uh, really what it is is just a bunch of stations of just agility drills ladders and just it's just meant to try to get you to just just quit almost because I mean once you once you make it through your first mad drills you just feel like you can do anything and nothing can stand in your way just that's that's really the type of how hard it is and how the type of work that you know is put into that but how, how did your first your first mad drills go yeah uh, the first first mad drills uh, it was it was tough you know as physical or as physically like challenging as mat drills are it's also the mental side that's like as equally as equally important because you know your legs are going to be sore your legs are going to be tired but at the same time your mind is like telling you like to give up because the average human would give up in that in a tough situation like that so it's it's so it's such a strain mentally and physically but you know if you really dominate mat drills you know you can really succeed in anything so you know, my first one went, went well. Um, if I were to say I'm looking forward to it this year, I'd be lying. But it's just something you got to just dominate through and just, you know, get through and just help you get ready for the season. So it, it should be fun this year. Shoot, luckily you didn't, you didn't throw up or nothing, right? No, I didn't throw up. I feel <laughs> like I'll pass out before I throw up. And that might be a bad thing to say, but no, I'm not, I don't throw up usually. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah my, mine went pretty well, too. Freshman year, it wasn't bad at all, you know. But, you know, definitely very tiring. My legs were giving out, uh, walking out of the, off the field, wobbly leg, almost felt like I was about to fall over. Yeah. But it overall, it went well. Now, I did see other freshmen in our class, you know, I'm not gonna mention any names, but uh, they, did, <laughs> they, did, they did start throwing up, so we were cracking jokes on them after. Mm. And they, filmed, they, filmed, they actually they filmed the mad drill, so they're, it's, it's, if you th end up throwing up, on, they're gonna get it, and it's gonna be on there forever. So you won't be, you probably won't be able to live it down. But overall, I feel like mad drills definitely, you know, is a key, a key thing as far as getting us in shape, you know, just prepared for camp and just uh, the season in general. In general, but it also uh, just builds that camaraderie, camaraderie between teammates, 
and just uh, you know being able to work to together early morning uh, and, l and late afternoons with your, with your brothers and whatnot. But I think uh, we'll probably end the show uh, this episode one with that. Uh, definitely want to say keep sending in questions for upcoming shows. And if you have any suggestions, like what you guys would want us to talk about, what you guys might want to know about Clemson football, and just try to get an inside scoop. We're definitely trying to you know get back to you guys and answer those questions. But also want to say thank you to Clemson Insider for allowing us to be able to do this show and allowing us to just be able to uh, talk a little bit about clips of football and also tell you guys a little bit about ourselves, uh, me, Jeremiah, and Barrett, you know, as, as a, like people outside of football. So I appreciate you guys for that and keep turn, turn, tuning in and go Tigers. Go Tigers.